When using Inkscape, before long you are going to need to do some colouring in, but when you use the fill tool, you might come up with some issues. But don't fret, Button Press Graphics is here to help you along the way. Hello my friends, Rob here from Button Press Graphics back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the fill tool. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see on my screen at the moment, I did a quick little sketch and I used the trace bitmap feature in order to scan it as a path like this. If you want to trace bitmap yourself, I will leave a link to the trace bitmap video that I have got on my channel. But quickly, it just means selecting the image that you want, going to path, selecting trace bitmap, and then setting these parameters to get an image like this. Once you apply, you will get something that looks a little bit like this. And this is an actual path unlike this one which is just an image firstly we can find the fill tool on the left hand side toolbar right there there is a shortcut that you can just press the letter u to get to it quickly now when we fill things it needs to be a contained area what i mean by this is it needs to have walls on all sides if there are any gaps it will not fill correctly to show you if i was to fill the border and the background of this little image as you can see the skull has also turned to the same color and that's not what we wanted the reason for that is for this little section here because these two lines are not joined up it will fill all this area and then seep over into this one. So what about the properties? Well, if we come up to fill by, you can fill by the alpha, which is what we have got as standard. You can go by lightness, saturation, hue, blue, green or red are all visible colors. These will change how it fills in general. For the most part, you will not need to change it. You can keep it on alpha and you will be absolutely fine. The next thing that you really need to know is the grow by and shrink by. Anything above one will increase the size and anything below one will decrease the size. Now what I mean by the grow and shrink, if I was to fill this section again, and then zoom in because the opacity is down you can see where it overlaps and if you look closely you can see there are certain sections that haven't filled in correctly however if we undo that and if we increase the size to around two and then select it again it looks like not much has changed but if we zoom in you can see that area that it didn't cover before has now been covered. It is also worth mentioning that when you're using the fill tool, how zoomed in you are matters. Now this has something to do with the visible pixels on the screen at any given time. And of course, there are more within the lines as you zoom in. Now, as you can see, I've zoomed out quite a lot. I'm going to go to the fill tool and I'm going to simply select to fill this shape. Now, when I zoom in, as you can see, especially near the points, it's tapered off and it's not filled into the corners. So if I control and Z, stay relatively close to the main image and then do it again and then zoom back in as you can see it's made a much better job of 
going straight into the points than it previously did. So try and zoom in as much as you can. But it is also worth mentioning that if you are too close, you might get areas like this. So it will only fill the sections that you previously could see. However, if you are now going to try and fill another section, if I zoom right in here and I make that color a little bit darker, as you can see, it has overlapped right the way along and it has not made a good join at the edges either. So that is something that you need to bear in mind because even if you were to use the select tool to select both of the shapes and then go to path union, those little edges there will still remain. Also, when using the fill tool, this is a simple star with a stroke. It has got no fill color and just a black stroke. If I was to select to fill this star, you may be forgiven for thinking that that has filled in the star below, but you would be wrong. The star itself is still its own shape that you can manipulate in any way you want. And the area that you selected for the fill will become a completely new shape. Bear that in mind when you're doing a lot of areas within your design that need to be individually filled. Now, another thing to be aware of, whenever you have got corners or very sharp points, for example, in this section here, there are two points on either end. And if you try and increase the grow rate too much so you can fill in the exact points, you'll get something that looks like this. Now you can layer this underneath your outline and you won't have any problems. But sometimes when you've got a very thin stroke or a thin outline, then you are going to need to do a little bit of tweaking. So I will set the grow shrink weight back to its default, which is one. And now when I select to fill in this area, you will notice that the corners are not quite right and neither is this little section here well fear not there is a very easy way to rectify this simply by using the nodes tool now with the nodes tool selected you can see all the nodes and you can simply click and drag the nodes to whichever position you want And once you are done, you have it perfectly. So now what you can do is you can close all the gaps and make sure that everything is colored in the way that you would like it to be. Now, in order to close a gap like the one I showed you here earlier, this is very, very simple. This outline is one complete path. So all we need to do is add a little section and then union them together. So we can do that by going to the pen tool and then simply zooming right in and then drawing the shape that we want to make it look as natural as possible. And once we have the shape that we want, we will come down to the bottom left corner and we will press the black so we can get the black fill color. And then we're going to hold shift and press the X to get rid of the stroke. Now with that selected, 
hold shift and select the main outline of your image and then you can go to path union and as you can see it's still all one shape and it has now joined that path so make sure to go through your design and see if there are any broken areas for example this one is very close to being broken but the inside of the letter n is still complete now we can go through the entire design and of course color it in and there you have it my friends that's how you can use the simple fill tool to color your images if you found this useful please let me know in the comments and of course if you've got any suggestions for future videos that you would like to see then you can let me know down in the comments too finally if you want me to create some graphics for you just like these were created for other clients then please by all means get in touch and we can have a chat about what you need but until next time that's it for now thank you so much for watching i'm going to bid you all a fond farewell and i will see you in the next one